This is our four and a half year transformation from an abandoned boat to our home. Meet our tiny floating home, Alma. She's an Ericsson 41, made in 1969. A Bruce King design made for racing. Only 50 were ever built. Her graceful lean beam and overhang stern makes her as easy to look at as it is to sail her. But before she was even sailable or livable, we had to spend four and a half years fixing her. In 2014, we started searching for a project boat. We've been looking for a project boat to make it our own. Yeah, something that we can actually afford and uh, make it uh, comfortable for us. We came across a few on sailboat listings, one of them being Alma, then Bevica, located in Miami, Florida. We love it. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> When talking with the previous owner, he told us how she was an abandoned boat in the middle of the bay. He did the paperwork together and tried to fix her, but a year later realized it was more work than he thought. We were a young, naive couple striving to make our sailing dream come true on a very small budget. We saw this as our opportunity, not knowing that it would take so long to fix this once abandoned boat to make it our home. We originally thought fixing our boat was going to take three months. We were wrong, <laughs> by far. <laughs> three months ended up getting longer and longer. You are so in the boat. The engine is not in condition to make it. Once we purchased Alma, friends of ours towed her to an affordable do-it-yourself boatyard in Fort Pierce. We hauled her out and were eager to start refitting our project boat. We were one step closer to reaching our dreams. Every day after our full-time jobs, to be able to afford this project, we worked on her, day and night. Being an old boat, it was like a Pandora box. Whenever we fixed one thing, more and more problems started surfacing. This is another problem that we found. We had a little hole around here, this corner, and uh, ended up being like a big problem because all this area here, about an inch from this area here, came out to be like really, really full of water in the balsa core. This was a little frustrating, but talking to other people who were experiencing the same thing is definitely common. So we didn't let that discourage us. So much work. What did we do on Alma over these four and a half years? We started with structural and foundational work. This is when she started to look worse than when we actually got her. We took out the engine to get rebuilt. Made new spreaders. rebuilt the rudder that had water damage. Deck repairs, lots and lots of fiberglass work and sanding. Fix the rod floors, fix the chain plates, the V-drive, build engine mounts, install new flooring, headliner, redid all the plumbing and electrical work. Installed the sinks, faucets, toilet, electronics. Took down the mast, painted it, and ran the cables through. Made our own nav pod. Installed new portholes. And much, much more.
the feeling of accomplishment is definitely worth it. And it's so rewarding to be able to fix something and see the end result. The cosmetics is what really gave Alma a facelift. We sprayed the interior to give it a light and airy feel, keeping wood accents that were in the best condition. The outside was sprayed in a classic dark blue, transforming this once neglected boat into a true classic beauty. We designed the hardtop, which is made of foam core and three layers of fiberglass strong enough to walk on and great for shade. Installation of solar panels began, which are Renogy 18 volt type A, usually bringing in eight amps per panel. After the MPPT controller, we can bring in a total of 55 amps in sunny weather. We continued with the finishing touches of Alma. And once she was ready, a feeling of accomplishment washed over us. Yes, it took us four and a half years after our full-time jobs to transform this once abandoned boat, paying the projects little by little as we go. But now she has been brought back to life and she sure does say it like a dream. If you have any questions about the projects we did, comment below and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Want to see a detailed boat tour of the new and improved Alma? Comment below if you're interested. Thanks for watching and joining our sailing journey. See you next Monday. If you want to join our sailing family and help support our journey, there's a link below of Patreon. There are a lot of neat rewards and the first 50 patrons will receive an emailed photo of our reaction. So go ahead and check it out.